How's it going everybody? Daner here with North Central Coins and welcome back to another episode of the most rare and valuable coins in Canada. Today I'm going to be counting down the top 10 most valuable Canadian proof quarters. Now Canadian proof sets did not officially begin production until the year 19. 53 but it can be a little bit spotty when it comes to designation around that time the year 1951 and 1952 are actually counted as pl designations instead of specimen which is pretty interesting but in this list we are going to get into some of the older proof coins as well as some of the newer proof coins that are worth absolutely buku amounts of dollars but before i do start this list off i would really appreciate if you guys would hit that thumbs up and I have noticed that a large percentage of the people watching my videos are not subscribed. So I would really appreciate if anyone watching this video that is not subscribed would hit that bell notification and subscribe to see my future videos. It really helps me create this content and it will definitely help the future of my channel. But all of that being said, what do you say we get into this list and I break down the top 10 most valuable proof quarters you can find. Let's get it guys. So as I start this list off, what I'm going to do is work my way from the least valuable being number 10 all the way up to number one, which is going to be the most valuable coin on this list. You definitely want to stick around till the end because this one is extremely valuable. It is worth well over $20,000. So let's start this list off with number 10, which is going to be the 1968 Canadian Silver Proof Quarter. Now, when it comes to finding any information regarding the 1968 proof like set that comes in silver, you're going to be hard pressed to find just about any information out there. I have actually seen the sets that do contain silver coins. And as far as I can remember, they come with both nickel and silver variations of the different denominations, as well as the 50 cent pieces. So it is a very interesting set and you do not see them too often. I think I may have seen them on eBay or maybe just scrolling through one of the coin shops websites. But I do know that they are extremely rare, which is why the 1968 silver proof light quarter is much more valuable. In terms of value, you can get around $118 for a PL65, if you were able to get one in a higher grade, it could easily be worth anywhere from probably $300 to $500. So if you're ever out and you see a 1968 proof like set that has more than just one of each of the denominations, definitely buy it because that is an extremely rare set. I would also just like to make a super quick note that when it comes to information regarding Canadian coins, the information is very scattered a lot of the time. I will check multiple sources. One of my favorite sources to check is the Coins in Canada website, but I will always cross check multiple sources. And I have to tell you that I did some research to try and find one of these silver 1968 coin sets, and I could not find any pictures or information anywhere. So I am basically just going off of my own information on this one. If any of you guys know anything about these sets, I definitely encourage you to let us know any information that you might have down in the comments, as long as it's in a friendly way. All that being said, what do you say we move on to number nine on this list, which is going to be the 1999 September Mule. When the Canadian Mint began pumping out the Millennium Quarters in the year 1999, there were several different errors and varieties that exist in the circulation strikes, and the proof likes are definitely no exception, and this September Mule is definitely a rare one to look for. To identify it, you basically want to look at the obverse of the coin, and on the obverse, it will not have the 25 cents at the bottom, and it will also be much less detailed. Now, in terms of value, the September Mule is worth around $321 and a PL67, and if you find one of these and the obverse looks a little beat up, chances are it is not actually as beat up as you think, it's actually just the finish of the coin. Number eight on this list is going to be another 1999 Millennium Quarter, and that is for the month of November. And it is basically the same thing, it is a mule to identify it, you wanna flip over to the obverse, look under the Queen's bus, and if it is missing the 25 cents, and if it looks like it has slightly less detail than it usually would, then you have yourself one extremely rare proof like quarter that can be worth up to $354 in a PL67. 
Number seven on this list is going to be a Canadian proof quarter that lives in infamy and the circulation counterpart to this is a holy grail and a unicorn amongst Canadian coins. I have sifted through thousands upon thousands of dollars in Canadian quarters to find one of these and still have not and that is the 1973 large bust Canadian quarter. Now there is a proof like version of this to identify it. The easiest way is basically to flip over to the obverse and then you're going to take a look at the beads surrounding the outside rim of the coin. Now, if there is a space between the rim and the beads, most likely you have yourself a small bust and it is the more common of the varieties. But if it looks like the beads are almost touching or extremely near to the rim, then you definitely want to get a second opinion and check that coin out because you could have yourself an extremely rare quarter that could be worth $177 and a PL63 and all the way up to $677 for a PL67 example. Number six on this list is going to be the 2007 Paralympic wheelchair curling mule coin. Around the same time that the Canadian Mint began rolling out their Olympic quarters, they also began rolling out the Paralympic quarters. And in one of these sets they released, you could find a very rare variety known as the wheelchair curling mule. And basically to identify this, what you want to do is flip over to the obverse of the coin and you want to look for the Olympic logo where the Paralympic logo would usually be. Now, if you can identify this, this can be an extremely rare quarter that can be worth anywhere up to $784 for a PL67 example. Now, I'm not exactly sure if there is a circulation counterpart to this. I do put my Paralympics off to the side and check them, but we know for sure that there is a proof example. So if you're out there shopping at your local coin shop and you happen to see any of these 2007 Paralympic wheelchair curling sets, I would definitely check them out. And if you can get a look at the obverse on the coin, you may be able to scout yourself out quite a rare find. Number five on this list is going to be the 1953 small date. Now this is the official first year for Canadian proof like sets, even though the 1951 and 1952 do get PL designations. Now, the 1953 small date, basically to identify it, you just want to look at the date, and I will show you a comparison of what the small and large dates look like. Now, in terms of value, it can be worth anywhere up to $825 for a PL67 example. Number four is going to be the 1951 George VI proof like quarter low relief. Now to differentiate between the different varieties, what you want to do is flip over to the obverse of the coin. Now to identify the high relief, you want to look at the two A's in Gratia. If they are pointing straight to the denticles, then you have the high relief variation. Now if you look at the two A's and they are pointing in between the denticles, you have the low relief, which is actually the more desirable of the two when it comes to the proof like strikes. Now, in terms of value, the 1951 low relief can be worth around $168 for a PL60, which is actually a pretty low graded example. If you're opening up a PL set from that year, chances are they are probably going to be in at least that good of shape. A lot of the time, the coins will remain in pretty good condition when they stay in the PL set. I'm not too sure about that kind of age, but I know some of the sets that I've gotten, the coins are definitely still in good shape. But in terms of the high end, you can get around $1,050 for a PL67 example. Number three is going to be the 1952 low relief. Now, just like the previous one that I mentioned, the 1952, you are also looking for the low relief variety. So what you want to do, flip over to the obverse of the coin. And if the two A's in Gratia are pointing in between the denticles, then you have yourself the rare variety. Now, this coin can be worth around $110 for a PL63, so not quite as valuable on the low end, but it can be worth all the way up to $1,340 for a PL67, so slightly more valuable on the high end, so there's probably not as many high grade examples that are out there of this one. Number two is going to be the 1953 large date. Now previously on the list, I mentioned the 1953 small date, and the large date is actually the much rarer of the two varieties. Now, 1953 is the official first year for the PL set, even though 51 and 52 do get the PL designation. So that is probably why these coins carry such high premiums is because they are recognized as some of the first years of Canadian PL coins. Now, in terms of value, the 1953 large date 
can be worth up to $3,330 for a PL67 example. Well, we have made it to number one on this list. I hope you guys enjoy these videos and I hope you find them helpful. If you guys would like to check out some of the other videos I have made in the past on some of the other rare and viable Canadian, American, Australian, New Zealand, British, and coins from all around the world, I would definitely appreciate it and it should definitely help you in your coin collecting journeys. But what do you say we get into number one here, which is going to be one extremely rare and valuable Canadian proof quarter, and that is the 1993 Mule. Now to identify this quarter, basically you wanna flip over to the obverse and it should basically have the 1992 double date underneath. Now, if it has this double date of 1867 to 1992 underneath the Queen's bust, then it is basically the holy grail of Canadian proof quarters because it can be worth all the way up to $26,000 for a PL67 example. Now, I'm sure a lot of 1993 proof-like sets have been opened up in hopes of maybe being able to find one of these, but you never know. They are still out there. It is probably one of the more valuable sets. I know the 1991 set and 1992 sets are pretty valuable. A lot of people want to have the 91 quarter, and a lot of people want to have the 1992 caribou because it is pretty iconic to have a caribou with the 1992 date on it because they only release provincial quarters in that year. But all of that being said, definitely keep an eye out for the 1993 Mule, whether you are shopping at your local coin shop or you are coin roll hunting, because you can make a whole lot of money off that one. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up and please subscribe. I would also like to announce that I have partnered with the company Atmax. They are one of the largest precious metals dealers in North America. They have a website with a massive selection and inventory, ranging from everything from bars, bullion, hand poured pieces. They have New Zealand Mint licensed products like Star Wars, Marvel, Harry Potter. So if you'd like to shop one of the largest selections of bullion and precious metals in the world and also support my channel, then just click the link down in the description below for Atmax's website. But that's pretty much gonna be it for this one, guys. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Until the next one, peace out and have a good one, y'all.